After leaving Motorola, Dr. Harry joined A.C. Brown Bovary. At ABB, Harry worked with Richard Schroeder, who would also become a champion for Six Sigma. In fact, the two men later co-founded the Six Sigma Academy. At ABB, Harry came to realize a key idea in the evolution of Six Sigma, business, or profits, in some ways came before quality. Quality, in fact, was a driving factor of business. Customers didn't make purchases if quality was poor. Because the individuals with the ability to decide in favor of Six Sigma initiatives were highly motivated by dollars, Harry incorporated financial tactics into the Six Sigma methodology. For the first time, the method was focused on the bottom line as a primary goal with other concerns and goals stemming from financially led goals. In 1993, both Schroeder and Harry changed jobs, joining the team at Allied Signal. Allied Signal CEO at the time was Larry Bossidi. He was interested in Six Sigma but realized that executives and other high-level leaders experienced knowledge barriers while attempting to interact and collaborate with analysts, process engineers, and Six Sigma experts. Bossidi suggested that leadership at a company had to be well-versed in Six Sigma to pick the right projects for success and support those projects on a company-wide basis to ensure success. Harry who is sometimes referred to as the father of Six Sigma, created a system for educating executive leaders. In conjunction with others at Allied Signal, he developed systems that allowed Six Sigma to be effectively deployed by leadership throughout an organization in its entirety. Around the same time, General Electric CEO Jack Welch entered into the Six Sigma arena. Prior to learning about Six Sigma, Welch had stated he was not a proponent of quality measures. He'd previously criticized quality programs as heavy-handed approaches that did little to deliver results. Welch invited Larry Bossidy to speak at a General Electric corporate meeting in 1995. He also requested an analysis regarding the benefits of implementing Six Sigma at General Electric. At that time, General Electric was performing at between 3 and 4 Sigma. The potential savings should the company rise to Six Sigma were enormous. Estimates were $7 to $10 billion. Welch is known as a champion of Six Sigma not because he contributed in major ways to the development of statistical process controls or the Six Sigma tool sets, but because he demonstrated exactly how leaders should approach Six Sigma. He also made General Electric a historically successful Six Sigma organization by tying Six Sigma goals to employee reward structures. Employees were no longer only compensated based on financial performance factors, they were also evaluated based on Six Sigma performance. Suddenly, employees at every level had a personal reason to become involved in continuous process improvement, and employees and managers were supplied with the Six Sigma training to succeed.